down home. The world he finds out in the galaxy will challenge every idea you've ever had of civilization. A planet where man is the lowest order of living things. And the superior beings are... Mikes! They build the cities. Make the laws. The gods. Planet of the... Mikes! All right, enough monkeying around. Want to give a quick shout out to our dear friend Sarah Berry, who is this week's question asker. She wants to know, what would the world look like if it was made up entirely of clones of you? If Hollywood has taught us anything about clones, then y'all already know cloning yourself ain't nothing but a bunch of trouble. Listen to me, both of you. Okay, listen to me. Okay. This is the number one rule, okay? Nobody has sex with my wife but me. Hey, talk to him. Fabulous world. Seriously, though, a world populated by exact copies of me would be the most god-awfully boring place I could possibly imagine. I mean, think about it. If everyone on the planet looked and thought and acted like me, it would be terrible. For starters, there'd be no one to laugh at my jokes. Hey, I got one for you. What do you call a woman with no left leg? leg. Eileen. Eileen. And you could forget about having stimulating intellectual debates and conversation. The way I see it is, if individual molecules really are sentient, then we as a collection of molecules are simply the multiverse's attempts at understanding its own existence. You know? Of course. I think exactly the same thing. <sighs> and not to mention, unless I have a few secret ovaries and a whole mess of other equipment hidden away inside me, Doubtful that a world filled with clones of me would mark the end of the entire human race. We can always adopt. We're all the same age. And that's a sad way to go. It is an interesting thought exercise, though. The idea of living in a world populated by clones of yourself. I think that in our worst moments, we all secretly wish that the world was like that, and that everyone would agree with us and see things our way without any trouble at all. No doubt it would make things a lot easier. But that ain't growth, that's conformity. And only the true monsters amongst us want to make the world into a singular idea. So thanks for the great question, Sarah, and, th and congrats on the successful campaign. Don't, don't forget, forget to, send to send us your questions. If we like it, we'll answer it in a video. Adios. Adios.